Hello on this May 9th, the fourth week of Easter, Saturday. Some of you may have been to the West Coast and visited the missions up and down Baha'i California. And remember St. Unipero Serra, you know, born in late in the 1713 in Spain itself. And he took the name Unipero because of St. Francis's favorite companion. He taught, the, he taught in the Franciscans as a Franciscan and did well, but he decided that his calling was the missions and in 1750, he went to serve in Mexico. On the way, you probably know this, he was bitten by mosquitoes and became infected his leg. As a result, he suffered a painful limp that remained with him for the rest of his life. But Father Sierra worked in north central Mexico for 17 years, but when the Franciscans were asked to take over the missions for the Jesuits in Baja California, he was 54 years old and he volunteered and he founded the missions in San Diego and in Monterey. He died in 1784 and is buried at the Mission San Carlos Borromeo in Carmel by the Sea, California. You've probably been there, perhaps you have been there. Some of you also may remember a while ago in our Catholic Church when a mixed marriage was thought to be between an Irish Catholic and an Italian Catholic. Historical social norms are prevalent throughout all of history, glamorized in Romeo and Juliet and West Side Story. The limitations and the barriers come from what we're taught, that they're not from our town, they're not from our tribe, they're not part of our nation, so we need to stay away from them. Fortunately, to some extent, the earlier bias of being told that you can't be friends with someone else because they aren't Catholic has less influence today. At least I hope it does. But to our shame, what is profoundly more evident now in our time in these days is the racial and ethnic bigotry that exists much more in everyday life. And we have a graphic awful example of the murder this week of Amand Arbery in southeast Georgia and how many others, almost countless, because they are black or Jewish or Muslim or Catholic or gay or women. One of the popular songs a few decades ago, The Man in the Mirror, has the lyric, if you want to make the world a better place, take a look at the man in the mirror and make that change. When I look in the mirror, hopefully I will remember that as proclaimed in the first letter of Peter in today's reading, I am, we are, sent into our world to be a light to others. We carry that light with us, that we all may be instruments of salvation to the ends of the earth. And most importantly, we are unable to do this alone, but only with the Holy Spirit. Today's reading from the Gospel of John. I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do greater than these. So these days, thinking of those who would be making their first communion, or confirmation, thinking of the elect who would have joined the church as full members at the Easter Vigil, we may reflect and ask ourselves the questions, what have I done with my baptism and confirmation? I might ask myself the question, is Christ really at the center of my life? Do I have time? Do I take time for prayer in my life? Do I live my life as a vocation, as a mission? Do I thank God 